But first, a not guilty verdict in a murder case that has become a touchstone in the national debate over immigration. And to Hari Srinivasan. The acquittal of an undocumented Mexican immigrant charged with murdering San Francisco resident Kate Steinle in 2015 drew immediate fire from President Trump. Mr. Trump has repeatedly invoked her death to rally support for a crackdown on illegal immigration. For more on the verdict, we're joined by Vivian Ho. She covers criminal justice for the San Francisco Chronicle. Vivian, you were in the courtroom to see some of this. Um, what were the cases that the prosecution and the defense laid out? So the charges against Mr. Garcia Cerrate were murder, assault with a deadly weapon, and uh, possession of a firearm as a felon. To prove murder, the prosecution had to prove that he intentionally and deliberately fired the gun at Kate Steinle. The prosecution had many theories about this case. One of them was that he purposely brought the gun to the pier to play his own secret game of Russian roulette, that he was essentially at the pier scoping out targets and he just wanted to shoot anybody and that person just happened to be Kate Steinle. Another theory they offered was that, you know, he pointed the gun at Kate Steinle. Something about Kate Steinle angered him and he pointed a gun, directed it at her and pulled the trigger. On the other hand, the defense has maintained from the very beginning that this was all an accident, that Mr. Garcia Cerrate never had any intention to do harm, that, in fact, he had no idea that he even had a gun. What the defense has said from the beginning was that he was, uh, he was sitting on his chair at the pier when he discovered a bundle at his feet. And while reaching for that bundle, he grabbed it and accidentally discharged a firearm, which then went on to strike the ground 12 feet away and then ricochet up and travel 78 more feet to strike Kate Steinle in the back. You know, one of the things that the president was tweeting, he called this a disgraceful verdict, but he also said that the jury was not told the killer of Kate was a seven-time felon. What were his previous charges of these violent crimes? They were not violent crimes. Mr. Garcia Zarate, the majority of his uh, criminal history uh, had to do with re-entry into the country. The majority, so the majority of his charges were that he, he was, uh, you know, deported and then went back in. And, uh, you know, he was a homeless man. So there were a lot of, there were several nonviolent drug, drug convictions on his record as well. So how did President Trump use this case on the campaign trail? Very soon after the killing, President Trump got on Twitter and tweeted that uh, that this was a situation of uh, of bad immigration, that the, the Mr. Garcia Zarate should have been deported, and that Kate Steinle should still be alive. President Trump sort of used this case as a way to rally uh, people who were looking for better immigration enforcement and to really sort of target cities that had sanctuary policies like San Francisco. So what happens to Mr. Zarate now? Mr. Zarate, uh, as of right now, with uh, he was while he was acquitted of murder, manslaughter, and assault with the with a firearm, he was convicted of being a felon in possession of a firearm. That uh, that con that conviction holds a, a possible sentence of three years in state prison. He's already served a lot of that time uh, it, it, waiting for the trial to happen. Because of this, uh, he will most likely not have to serve any time after this. But um, the situation is that there is a federal warrant for his, uh, for his mm -hmm. detainment at, this, at the moment, which means that uh, even if he is released immediately or um, after sentencing, mm -hmm. he still has to be held and he will most likely be deported. All right, Vivian Ho of the San Francisco Chronicle, thanks so much. Thank you.